Hello, I'm Sophie Ellis Baxter and I'm here on What You Got. I'm okay, I'm really sorry about my squeaky chair. I'm gonna try not to squeak my chair too much. But um, yeah, this is not my library at home, but I kind of wish it was. Can you see all these books? It's amazing. They've even got, look, one of the old fashioned sort of ladders and stuff. I love to reach things. So amazing. if you want me to get anything off the top shelf, I can. Yeah, my um, fourth album, Make a Scene, is finally making its way into uh, yeah, the third dimension. It's, um, it's, you know, it's been recorded for a little while now, but um, I left my old label and I've set up my own label, so I'm doing this by myself, which is exciting. And uh, yeah, it's coming out in the UK, uh, I think it's June the 6th, first week of June. Um, and it's uh, rather fantastic, got a release in, in Russia first, which is quite cool because in the last few years, I've been having a lovely time going to Russia a lot as well. So yeah, it's going around Europe and um, in the UK, and then it'll be the rest of the world to follow. But at least we're getting started. It's released on Universal Russia on um, April the 18th. Um, well, in terms of accessing music, I actually, I mean, I'm a music fan before I'm someone that, you know, does it for a day job. So I, like everybody else, go on things like YouTube and listen to stuff that way. I mean, I do actually do always pay for anything I download. But, um, to be perfectly honest, I think what, what we've achieved, and I say we meaning all the my lovely people that support me with my work, and uh, you know, getting the album to fruition and getting it out there is, uh, is a big achievement. So um, I'm just thrilled it's going to be out there. I don't really, I don't really feel too, too hotly about how they're getting hold of it. I just, I'm glad that the fans are actually going to hear it because I know what you're talking about with the vocal fans and the forums, and I've sometimes on very stupid late nights I've had the quick look and um, you know I, I didn't really I'm totally fine with the fact that people were kind of in the dark and I, you know a lot of things I couldn't disclose while we were sorting it all out because it was very exciting but just a bit premature to say so but the things I wasn't keen on was the accusations that I was just being sort of really lazy and thinking oh, should I put my album out this week oh I can't be bothered maybe next month you know it's, it's really not been the case it's been a bit of a labour of love but it's been really really worth it um well given that this is now my uh in crossing into my my Ten, the first sort of set, ten years in doing what I do, um, I really felt very strongly that there'd been no song on the album that wasn't fun to work right, and nobody that's on the album that I didn't enjoy working with. So I'd recommend anybody on the fourth album as a co-write. I mean, there were people like Calvin Harris who, when I first worked with him, was about two or three years ago now. So he was really just sort of finding his feet, and he's phenomenally talented. Um, Joe Mount, the guy from Metronomy, same story actually. I think he's really got something. Very talented guy. Um, and then you get people who are just um, always fantastic, like Kathy Dennis or Greg Kirsten, who just really know what they're doing and make everything sound lovely. Mm, I go through phases with my favourite songs. I mean, having done a little tour before Christmas and playing them live, it was really, some of the songs really sort of grew legs when you do them live. And actually the single that's coming out next in the UK is Starlight, and that is definitely one of my favourites. Um, well, the last tour I did, we filmed the show I did in London at Islington Academy, and uh, so we're putting that together to make a video for, for that song. It's true, I've started work on album five. I thought I might as well. Um, January, February is always sort of notoriously quite quiet for musicians, but if you're writing, it's a really great way to start the new year. So um, I'm doing something really different, though. It's not like the fourth album at all. The fifth album will be, I don't oh, know, a bit of a reaction. It's kind of the other way. I'm with the audience. Um, I don't know if I'd ever work with them again because we don't really, it doesn't really exist in the same way. I, mean, I sort of know the whereabouts of all the members, but they're not really working with one another and their lives have moved on. They're all doing different things now. Um, there's, there's still like a very strong bond between us and I'm always really pleased when I see them all, but I don't even know if it's something that's really occurred to any of us. And I think it's really lovely that there are people that care, but honestly, I think they're probably. Um, Probably in single digits, actually. I think <laughs> if we, we've reformed the concert. I think we probably have about seven people in the front row, and you kind of it really. Maybe our parents at the back of the room. <laughs> um, well, it's really nice to talk to all my fans in this immediate way. Um, I hope you're as happy as I'm that the album's finally coming out. I'm sorry for the wait. I thank you for your patience, and uh, hopefully, I will reward you with the new songs. And yeah, I hope you like it. I'm I'm very excited. So. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to read some books. <laughs>